So this story didn't actually happen to me, but to one of my closest friends who spent two weeks this past summer in Athens, Greece, on a mission trip with the Austin Stone Community Church. And her job there was to basically go door to door up to random people on the streets and evangelize and share the gospel. And she said it was one of the hardest things she has ever done. And on one particular night, she was sent out on the streets with two other people um, in an area that was known for high crime rate and drug use and prostitution. And she said the only people on the streets that night were drug male drug dealers. And the rules on this mission trip were that um, men could only talk to men and women could only talk to and approach women. And so she just said she was in incredibly frustrated because she didn't feel like she was serving her purpose that night or she just didn't have anything to do or anyone to talk to until out of nowhere appeared one female prostitute and she said she immediately ran up to this woman and just started telling her about Jesus and sharing the gospel and asked this girl if she could pray for her and this woman was incredibly receptive and just begging for prayer and had so many questions and as my friend went to lay her hands on this woman to pray for her, um, she was immediately swarmed by this pack of male drug dealers. And she said these guys are pulling on her clothes and pulling on her hair and asking her why, why she would ever want to pray for a prostitute, why she saw purpose in praying for a prostitute. And she said they were just harassing her in every way possible, offering her drugs and just firing questions at her. Um, and she said she was immediately panicked and just didn't know what to do, so just started praying and praying for a way to navigate that situation with grace and for confidence and just the right words to say. Um, and she said she could physically feel herself shaking, but could hear her voice coming out strong, and it wasn't quavering. Um, and at this point, the two other people she was with had gone off in different directions, so she was left completely by herself. And she said the prostitute she was talking to panicked and had left, and so it was literally just her surrounded by a group of men. Um, and no one would have heard if she had been taken or if she had cried out. Um, there was no one there to help her. Um, and I'm looking at my friend in awe, just trying to envision myself in the same situation and trying to imagine how I would have handled it. And I would like to say that I have a strong enough faith that I would have immediately turned to prayer and would have asked for... Um, just the confidence and the bravery to handle a situation like that but I honestly have no idea how I would have handled it um, I think I would have been horrified and shaken and I'm just amazed at my friend and the way she was able to handle a situation like that I think it was incredibly admirable